Welcome. I want to share with you a few words of encouragement. Pray with me right now. We are going to be praying in Jesus' name, standing in the Word of God for deliverance and miracles. O blood and water, which flowed from the heart of Jesus as a source of mercy for us, I trust in you. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth immensely for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened throughout the world. O source of life, O infinite mercy, surround the whole world and take care of us. O blood and water that flowed from the most holy heart of Jesus as a source of mercy for us, I trust in you. O Jesus, you gave yourself to us with such amazing passion solely for love. Your Father's justice would have been atoned for with a single breath of yours and all your annihilations are acts of your mercy and your inconceivable love. When you were dying on the cross, at that moment you gave us your eternal life, having allowed opening your most sacred side you opened to us an inexhaustible source of your mercy, you offered us the most valuable thing you had, that is, the blood and water of your heart. Behold the omnipotence of your mercy, from it all grace flows to us. O Jesus, eternal truth, our life, I beg you and beg your mercy for poor sinners. Sweetest heart of my Lord, full of pity and unfathomable mercy, I beg you for poor sinners. O most sacred heart, source of mercy from which rays of inconceivable graces spring forth over the entire human race. I beg you for light for poor sinners. O Jesus, remember your bitter passion and do not allow the souls redeemed with your most precious, most holy blood to be lost. O Jesus, when I consider the high price of your blood, I rejoice in its immensity because a single drop would have been enough to save all sinners. Oh, what joy burns in my heart when I contemplate your inconceivable goodness, O oh Jesus' own! I wish to bring all sinners to your feet so that they may glorify your mercy forever and ever. O oh Jesus stretched out on the cross, I beg you to grant me the grace to faithfully fulfill the most holy will of your Father in all things always and everywhere. And when this will seems heavy and difficult to fulfill, it is then that I beg you, Jesus, that strength and strength flow over me from your wounds and that my lips constantly repeat, your will be done, Lord. O Savior of the world, lover of human salvation who, amidst terrible torments and pain, forgot yourself to think only of the salvation of souls. Most compassionate Jesus, grant me the grace to forget myself so that I can live totally for souls, helping you in the work of salvation, according to the most holy will of your Father. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life sprouted for souls and the sea of mercy opened for the whole world. O source of life, unfathomable mercy of God, embrace the whole world and pour yourself out on us. Amen. Pray with me right now. We are going to be praying in Jesus' name standing in the Word of God for deliverance and miracles. O blood and water, which flowed from the heart of Jesus as a source of mercy for us, I trust in you. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth immensely for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened throughout the world. O source of life, O infinite mercy, surround the whole world and take care of us. O blood and water that flowed from the most holy heart of Jesus as a source of mercy for us, I trust in you. O Jesus, you gave yourself to us with such amazing passion solely for love. 
your father's justice would have been atoned for with a single breath of yours and all your annihilations are acts of your mercy and your inconceivable love. When you were dying on the cross, at that moment you gave us your eternal life, having allowed opening your most sacred side you opened to us an inexhaustible source of your mercy, you offered us the most valuable thing you had, that is, the blood and water of your heart. Behold the omnipotence of your mercy, from it all grace flows to us. O Jesus, eternal truth, our life, I beg you and beg your mercy for poor sinners. Sweetest heart of my Lord, full of pity and unfathomable mercy, I beg you for poor sinners. O most sacred heart, source of mercy from which rays of inconceivable graces spring forth over the entire human race. I beg you for light for poor sinners. O Jesus, remember your bitter passion and do not allow the souls redeemed with your most precious, most holy blood to be lost. O Jesus, when I consider the high price of your blood, I rejoice in its immensity because a single drop would have been enough to save all sinners. O, oh, what joy burns in my heart when I contemplate your inconceivable goodness, O oh Jesus' own! I wish to bring all sinners to your feet so that they may glorify your mercy forever and ever. O oh Jesus stretched out on the cross, I beg you to grant me the grace to faithfully fulfill the most holy will of your Father in all things, always and everywhere. And when this will seems heavy and difficult to fulfill, it is then that I beg you, Jesus, that strength and strength flow over me from your wounds and that my lips constantly repeat, your will be done, Lord. O Savior of the world, lover of human salvation who, amidst terrible torments and pain, forgot yourself to think only of the salvation of souls. Most compassionate Jesus, grant me the grace to forget myself so that I can live totally for souls helping you in the work of salvation, according to the most holy will of your Father. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life sprouted for souls in the sea of mercy open for the whole world. O source of life, unfathomable mercy of God, embrace the whole world and pour yourself out on us. Amen. Pray with me right now. We are going to be praying in Jesus' name, standing in the Word of God for deliverance and miracles. Psalm 18, 28-32 You, Lord, keep my lamp burning, my God turns my darkness into light. With your help I can advance against a troop, with my God I can scale a wall. As for God, His way is perfect, the Lord's word is flawless, He shields all who take refuge in Him. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. Almighty God, thank you for following me my whole life. Thank you for helping me with all my problems and thank you for bringing miracles into my life whenever possible. Today I need your interception and your miracles in my life. I am praying this prayer as I am desperate. I am praying this prayer because I need immediate help in my life. I know that only with your help will I be able to achieve what I want. I know I need a miracle and I know that only you, Almighty God, will help me. Help me to be able to overcome all obstacles in my life and be able to solve my problems. Almighty God, give me all the strength I need to keep fighting every day. I count on your help, I count on your presence and I count on your divine strength. The Lord keeps the fire burning within me and turns all of my darkness into light. 
He goes before me in my advance against the armies of darkness. His word flows through me, in all of its perfection, as my shield, sword and refuge of protection. It is my own heavenly Father who arms me with this strength and makes my way flawless before him. He makes my feet fast and graceful as a deer, and enables me to stand in even the hottest of battles. He trains me in the art of spiritual warfare and enables me to do what the world thinks impossible. He gives me a shield of victory as an everlasting possession and his right hand sustains me every second of my life. Yes, the Lord, my Heavenly Father, has broadened the path beneath my feet so that in me there is no shadow of turning. I am a vital member of the army of the Lord. I am part of a strong and daring breed, born in the blood of God. I have been born into His kingdom for such a time as this. I am unique and specially chosen to be God's ambassador and soldier in His army in these last days. I stand firm and stately as a stallion and move forward in God's army with the force of heavenly cavalry. Never before has there been anything like the church of today and nothing will be comparable after us. I consider this the greatest day to be alive. With a noise like that of chariots, we rise and conquer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Type Amen if you believe in miracles. Remember to like this video, and, give thanks. Welcome, my name is Darius, and today we will say a very powerful prayer of deliverance. Read this prayer daily so that the universe grants you all your wishes. Tune in with the abundance of the universe, through the daily exercise of this prayer for abundance. It is best to do it in the morning, before starting your day, so that you vibrate positively in the same tune with the universe. Activate the loving angels of abundance that will walk before you, opening doors of money, abundance, prosperity, success and well-being. Use your faith to repeat this prayer and enjoy a day where opportunities, joy, the money and everything you have to do will manifest without setbacks. The angels of abundance will walk before you opening doors and the barns of God. I know that I am pure spirit, that I always have been, and that I always will be. There is inside me a place of confidence and quietness and security where all things are known and understood. This is the universal mind, God, of which I am a part and which responds to me as I ask of it. This universal mind knows the answer to all of my problems, and even now the answers are speeding their way to me. I needn't struggle for them, I needn't worry or strive for them. When the time comes, the answers will be there. I give my problems to the great mind of God. I let go of them, confident that the correct answers will return to me when they are needed. Through the great law of attraction, everything in life that I need for my work and fulfillment will come to me. It is not necessary that I strain about this dash only believe. For in the strength of my belief, my faith will make it so. I see the hand of divine intelligence all about me, in the flower, the tree, the brook, the meadow. I know that the intelligence that created all these things is in me and around me and that I can call upon it for my slightest need. I know that my body is a manifestation of pure spirit and that spirit is perfect, therefore my body is perfect also. I enjoy life, for each day brings a constant demonstration of the power and wonder of the universe and myself. I am confident. I am serene. I am sure. No matter what obstacle or undesirable circumstance crosses my path, I refuse to accept it for it is nothing but illusion. There can be no obstacle or undesirable circumstance to the mind of God, 
which is in me, and around me, and serves me now. Today, I expect miracles. I graciously receive all the good fortune that comes my way. It is my intention to be a powerful source of love and light in this world. It is my intention to be a force for good and everything I do today is imbued with love, peace and joy. Thank you for the love and light in me. I pray through words as well as my actions. I pray alone and with everyone who has prayed this miracle prayer. Together we create miracles. I know you are creating a two-way communication. Prayers require listening as well as taking action on your word. Today, I know my prayers are heard. I pray with happiness and conviction. And I know miracles are manifesting right now. So it is. Amen. Welcome, my name is Darius, and today we will say a miraculous prayer to change your life. Watch this entire video and stand in faith with me as I pray with you. Deuteronomy 18.4 You are to give them the first fruits of your grain, new wine and olive oil, and the first wool from the shearing of your sheep, for the Lord your God has chosen them and their descendants out of all your tribes to stand and minister in the Lord's name always. Father, I know that it is not up to me as to how to distribute my tithe. You have placed me in the church as a prince slash princess who provides. My tithe goes to the pastor appointed over me so that he may use the funds as he sees fit. I am wise and discerning of the ways of the Lord. He has set a specific system for finances on this earth and I intend to align myself with it. Therefore, I commit 10% of my income to the church. I give it without reservation into the hands of my pastor, God's chosen minister, and I fully trust that the right thing will be done with it. Father, when I vow a vow to you, I will keep my word, I will not carry the sin of a broken vow in my heart, when it is in my hand to pay it, I will pay it. I know that my reputation is contained in the words that I speak. Therefore, my word is precious to me. When I give it, I intend to keep it. When I make a vow, I pay it without fail. I will not concern myself with the prosperity of evildoers. What they are doing cannot stop your prosperity in my life. Evil people who compete against me will soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Father, in all of my ways I will trust in you and do what is right. Feed me according to your word, make me dwell richly in the land. Increase my ability to advance your kingdom. Fill my storehouses as a witness against those who pursue prosperity through extortion and greed. Let them see the glory of kingdom living that they may be ashamed and turn from their wicked ways. Father, your presence brings me such joy and gladness. I truly delight myself in you. You are the first love of my life. I commit all of my ways to you. All that I have and all that I am are in your hands. Bring me the desires of my heart. Give me what my spirit longs for and satisfy this yearning that you have placed within me. Make my righteousness shine like the dawn and my cause like the noonday sun. I do not become stressed out over the actions of evil men, nor do I envy those who do wrong. They will all fade like the grass in winter, and like the green plants, they will soon die away. 
My purposes are set in the Lord to dwell in his spacious lands and enjoy the abundance of his pastures. I stand for what is good and right and trust in him with unfailing loyalty. He is my comfort and my delight, and he gives me all the desires of my heart. My way is committed to him, to trust in him in every circumstance. He will make my righteousness shine like the dawn, and the justice of my cause will blaze like the noonday sun. In Jesus' name, Amen. Type Amen if you feel blessed. Remember to like this video, and, give thanks. Welcome, my name is Darius, and today we will say a miraculous prayer to change your life. Watch this entire video and stand in faith with me as I pray with you. Deuteronomy 18.4 You are to give them the first fruits of your grain, new wine and olive oil, and the first wool from the shearing of your sheep, for the Lord your God has chosen them and their descendants out of all your tribes to stand and minister in the Lord's name always. Father, I know that it is not up to me as to how to distribute my tithe. You have placed me in the church as a prince slash princess who provides. My tithe goes to the pastor appointed over me so that he may use the funds as he sees fit. I am wise and discerning of the ways of the Lord. He has set a specific system for finances on this earth and I intend to align myself with it. Therefore, I commit 10% of my income to the church. I give it without reservation into the hands of my pastor, God's chosen minister, and I fully trust that the right thing will be done with it. Father, when I vow a vow to you, I will keep my word, I will not carry the sin of a broken vow in my heart, when it is in my hand to pay it, I will pay it. I know that my reputation is contained in the words that I speak. Therefore, my word is precious to me. When I give it, I intend to keep it. When I make a vow, I pay it without fail. I will not concern myself with the prosperity of evildoers. What they are doing cannot stop your prosperity in my life. Evil people who compete against me will soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Father, in all of my ways I will trust in you and do what is right. Feed me according to your word, make me dwell richly in the land. Increase my ability to advance your kingdom. Fill my storehouses as a witness against those who pursue prosperity through extortion and greed. Let them see the glory of kingdom living that they may be ashamed and turn from their wicked ways. Father, your presence brings me such joy and gladness. I truly delight myself in you. You are the first love of my life. I commit all of my ways to you. All that I have and all that I am are in your hands. Bring me the desires of my heart. Give me what my spirit longs for and satisfy this yearning that you have placed within me. Make my righteousness shine like the dawn and my cause like the noonday sun. I do not become stressed out over the actions of evil men, nor do I envy those who do wrong. They will all fade like the grass in winter, and like the green plants, they will soon die away. My purposes are set in the Lord to dwell in his spacious lands and enjoy the abundance of his pastures. I stand for what is good and right and trust in him with unfailing loyalty. He is my comfort and my delight, and he gives me all the desires of my heart. My way is committed to him, to trust in him in every circumstance. He will make my righteousness shine like the dawn and the justice of my cause will blaze like the noonday sun. In Jesus' name, Amen. 
type Amen if you feel blessed. Remember to like this video, and, give thanks. Welcome. Today I'm excited to pray with you in the name of Jesus. Listen to this amazing prayer and believe in God for a miracle to happen today. Today I bring you a powerful prayer to attract money. The prayer is as follows. Dear God, I pray that every day I receive large amounts of money. I ask you to guide me and light the way to make me receive a large amount of money today, tomorrow, and all week to be prosperous. I give, thanks, and I stretch my hands to receive all the prosperity you want to give me, so that I am able to solve all my debts and those of my family. I promise to praise your name at all times, to give you my devotion, and to respect you at all times. I ask that the money will reach me in the most opportune way, that it finds me and arrives quickly, may it not stop until it finds me, that it is attracted to me like a magnet that never stops. Almighty God, I want to thank you for all the blessings I receive from you every day, for my health, my family, and my home. Today I pray to you, to bring to me abundance and wealth quickly. It is done. Amen. This magical prayer from God gives abundant money quickly to everyone who prays it, and it never fails. Type money will come fast if you feel blessed. Watch this important message right now. I stand in faith with you, believing God to perform a miracle in your life. Are you sick and do you want to know how to pray for your healing? God is interested in hearing your prayer and bringing your healing. Today we will learn how to pray for our own healing taking the examples we have in the powerful Word of God, so that our prayer may be effective. Deuteronomy 4.40 you shall therefore keep his statutes and his commandments which I command you today, that it may go well with you and with your children after you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which the Lord your God is giving you for all time. Healing Sickness Prayer He is my Father, my Lord, my Master, my Teacher, and my Example. I obey all of his commands for by them it goes well with me and with my children after me. He has engrafted his word into my heart so that I may prolong my days in a full and abundant life in the land that he has given me as an inheritance for all of eternity. I am blessed above all worldly people. There is no one, nor is there anything, who is barren in my house. Everyone in my house is blessed. We live in God's favor and abound in His prosperity. There is no sickness allowed near my dwelling. The Lord has taken all sickness from me. He does not permit any of the diseases of the world to come upon my household. Instead, they are laid upon my enemies. I observe and obey the word of the Lord, and it goes well with me and my children after me forever. I do what is good and right in the sight of God. The Lord has set before me life and good things, but also death and evil things. The choice is mine. I choose to adhere to the statutes of His covenant. I walk in all of His ways so that I may live His abundant life and multiply in this earth. Because I have chosen life, my Father is very pleased to bless me with His divine favor, good fortune, happiness, prosperity, and good things of every kind. Father, you alone are God. There is no other. Stretch forth your hand to do wonders on behalf of your Son Jesus. For he condemned sin in the flesh and set free those held captive by it. 
He is the Lord of my life and the propitiation that guarantees my healing. Sin is no longer an issue. It cannot hold back your healing power from my life. I know that with you it is never too late to pray for complete recovery. Stretch forth your hand. Confirm your word with signs following. Father, I humble myself under your mighty hand that you may exalt me in due time. I do not look to my own position to earn me any points to bring forth my healing. My trust is in you and you alone. I will gladly do whatever you require. I am obedient to your word, for it is the only avenue to my complete deliverance and recovery. No matter how serious the sickness, it is no match for the healing power of my God. Even if the very breath within me has failed and I am seconds away from death, I can be healed. Furthermore, nothing but my own lack of faith can hold God's healing power from me. If I falter, I need only to call for the elders of the church to anoint me with oil and pray for me. I have the unfailing word that the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise them up. Therefore, no matter what the circumstances show, I can be healed. I am not offended by the requirements of the Lord and His prophets. Whatever the Lord requires of me, I am obedient to perform. Therefore, I arise cleansed of my infirmities. Sickness and disease cannot cling to me, for I have done what the Lord requires and He has declared that I am healed. In Jesus' name, Amen. Type Amen if you expect a miracle. Watch this important message right now. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Watch this important message right now.